I'm Dr. Scott Beyer here, and today we're gonna to be going over the thyroid adrenal connection. And I'm sure you guys have heard of the adrenal glands, but for those who haven't, just real quickly, the adrenal glands are considered our body's stress glands, okay? And um, what they'll do is they'll release a hormone called cortisol under periods of, of both physiologic and emotional stressors. And uh, cortisol, I'm sure you probably read that as well, cortisol really gets a bad rep online. Um, and just like any other hormone, we wanna make sure that cortisol does not go too high, but also that it doesn't go too low, that it's just kind of just right in the middle, okay? But what happens is, is that if people have these stressors for a chronic period of time, we see this right here, okay, number one. And uh, this is chronic adrenal stress actually tends to inhibit both the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. And for those of you who don't know, uh, these two guys, the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland, they almost act as like the air traffic control tower for a lot of the body's hormones, okay? And it picks up really minute changes in hormones. And uh, what, what people with chronic related adrenal stress tend to do is it's almost like if, uh, going back to the air traffic control tower analogy, it's almost like those people trying to direct oncoming and outgoing flights in the air traffic control tower on a foggy day when their power's out, okay? What happens is, is that the uh, chronic adrenal stress tends to inhibit this feedback loop here. And ultimately what we'll see is we'll see, you know, a decrease in what they call thyroid stimulating hormone, okay, and that, that stimulates the thyroid gland, and then we'll see a decrease in, in thyroid hormone. In fact, there's actually been a study published where they've taken people who uh, have subclinical hypothyroidism, so they have, uh, you know, hypothyroid uh, according to their, their blood work, but they also have adrenal insufficiency. And what they did is they treated them for their adrenal insufficiency, and then all of their thyroid markers improved. And one of the mechanisms is right here, okay? And if you guys like our page and stick with us for the next few days here, I'm gonna be posting uh, parts two, three, and four on the thyroid adrenal connection. So if you guys like that, uh, or I hope you guys liked it, uh, go ahead and feel free to browse our page, like our page, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. <music>